Hello guys, Greg back with another video on the channel, it's all killer, no filler. So I kind of stole this video idea a little bit, I know that Ashton from Gent Sense does these videos, also Carl from the UK Frag Guy channel does these, and probably lots of other people as well. But basically it's a video talking about which fragrance I wore on each day of the previous week. So I'm going to upload one of these every Sunday, this week's one's a day late, but moving forward they will be every Sunday. I won't go into too much detail on each one, it's just going to be talking a little bit of information about each fragrance. So this video is my rotation from Monday the 18th of February 2019 to Sunday the 24th of February. So on Monday I wore a real old school gentleman's fragrance. So I was working from home office so as I usually do, wanted something kind of casual, something pleasing and I wore this one. And this is Louder Man. And this one's a very classic smelling aromatic fougere fragrance. It's centered around oak moss. It's quite a complex fragrance, but ultimately it just smells very smooth, very refined and very manly. Probably not gonna to appeal to the under 35s, I wouldn't have thought. But if you are a fan of this type of fragrance, this is one of the very best out there in my opinion. So that's what I wore on Monday, that's Louder Man. On Tuesday, I wore one of my all time favorite fragrances. This is the one that smells like a dad. This is Reeve Gosh, pour on. Wasn't really going anywhere on Tuesday, so I wore this. It's quite a relaxing, chilled fragrance. The ultimate barbershop fragrance, this one. It's got some lavender in there, some rosemary. But I've done a full review on this one. If you want some more information, I'll leave a link below for that. But it's a, it's a stunning 10 out of 10 fragrance. That's Reeve Gosh by YSL. On Wednesday, a fragrance that probably most of you will never have heard of, actually. And props to He Smells Like Rome. Um, he's got a great channel, I really like his stuff. He was the one that mentioned this in a few videos and inspired me to go and buy this. And it's from the house of Pozzo di Borgo. And this one is called 8 Mars 1764, 8th of March 1764. It's an interesting house, this one. Each fragrance is inspired by an ancestor. They're a fa the de Borgo family are an Italian family. And each fragrance is the ancestor's date of birth. And this one, 8 Mars 1764, this was inspired by a chap called Carl Andrea Pozzo di Borgo. And apparently he was the president of Corsica back in the 18th century. Um, it's got a citrus opening, this one. It's mixed with some resins develops into like an ambery leather. There's some cognac in here, some spices. I'll get some woods from this and also just a little hint of coffee. A very interesting fragrance, really enjoyable. Um, but this house is unfortunately still relatively unknown. Nobody really talks about it. That's um, 8 Mars 1764 by Pozzo di Borgo. So Thursday, um, I had a meeting on Thursday with a, one of my suppliers. So I wanted something that was a little bit professional. So I went for Tom Ford for Men Extreme. Again, I've done a full review on this one, so I'll leave a link below for that. But to give you an idea of this one, it starts out with a spicy, fruity rum. Lots of herbs in here. It's got some violent, violet. And the, and the main accord in here is like a, an earthy black truffle. Um, there's lots going on in this fragrance. So if you want a bit more of a detailed description, do check out my review. It'll tell you more about that. But that's what I wore on Thursday. That's Tom Ford for Men Extreme. Friday, and Friday was a nice bright day here in England. Um, I wore a fragrance I haven't actually worn for years. This used to be my clubbing fragrance, probably, I don't know, fifth, maybe more than 15 years ago, before I really got into fragrances in a big way. And it's a very bright, sparkling, uplifting, really appealing fragrance. It's from Escada, and this one is called Sunset Heat. The dominant note in here is star fruit. And basically, it smells like a very fresh, a very sort of fresh tropical smell. There's also a lot of mild musk in here. Very uplifting fragrance. I think it's discontinued, but still can find it on eBay. But um, yeah, really enjoyed wearing that. That's Escada Sunset Heat. Make sure you get Sunset Heat for men. There's a ladies one as well. Saturday, I wore one of my new Penhaligon's fragrances that I recently picked up. And this one is called Belgravia Chypre. Um, it's a high quality perfume this one um, but it's not really for me to be honest it's a kind of a traditional um, sheep type of fragrance it's got the usual oak moss rose patchouli in there when you get certain sort of wafts of this there's a little resemblance to Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mull the fragrance generally is very different but just some of the sillage gives a little bit of uh, sort of reminds me a little bit of Portrait of a Lady but this one just falls a little bit short for me it's not something that I particularly enjoyed and not, not something I'll probably wear wear very much moving forward 
That is Belgravia Sheepra. And on Sunday, the final day of the week, I wore another recent purchase. Um, used quite a lot of this one already. This is the excellent Tobacco by Odori. Um, now this particular version of this fragrance is discontinued, so I'm really glad I managed to get hold of this. This is a really authentic tobacco fragrance. When we say fragrances smell like tobacco, usually we mean they smell like tobacco fragrances, but this one literally actually smells like real pipe tobacco, authentic pipe tobacco. It's got some incense and vanilla in here as well, but really it's just a tobacco bomb. That's what you're gonna get from this. Very impressed with this one actually. And really enjoying wearing that. You can see I've worn a load of that. I've also split some of it as well. Um, so there you go. That was my rotation for the week that's just passed. Um, as mentioned, I'll do one of these every week moving forward. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Remember, you can purchase samples of around 500 fragrances from my online store, which is fragrancesamplesuk.com. We now offer insured track shipping to 15 European countries as well, directly through the website. So you can um, order if you're, you're based in any of those countries. If your country isn't included on the list in, in any European country or anywhere else in the world, we can still ship to you. You just need to email us in the first instance to discuss an order. So email us at info at fragrancesamplesuk.com and either myself or one of my team will get back to you. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with another video. See you all soon. Cheers.